Hello and welcome. I'm Lizzie, a software engineer at DataLogix, and today I'll be showing you how to merge PDF UA documents using our APDFL trial. So let's get started. First off, we'll go to our website, then navigate to this drop down PDF tools, going to Adobe PDF Library. Then that'll take us to our download page where we can then download a free trial. So first we'll have to fill out some questions. Today we're going to do this on Windows 64, giving it an example email. And then we're going to be testing out APDFL with C++. Then it'll think for a moment. It'll be generating our trial key. And then we'll have the ability to download the executable. All right. When that finishes, we'll be able to run the executable. Our user agreement. Put it in our default location. And today we're just going to get C++. All right, then we'll have some um, information, and now we'll want to activate. So now we can use the activation key we got, copy that, reopen our license activation, paste that in, and activate. It'll take it a second to think. All right, now that it's activated, we should be able to navigate onto it now that it's installed. So we're going to go to our C drive, go to Data Logix, APFL 18, C++, sample source, content modification, merge documents, and open up this solution file. We're going to open it up with Visual Studio 2022. You'll get this retarget projects. Most likely, if you're using a newer Visual Studio, so you will want to press OK to this. Otherwise, you can run into some build errors. All right, looks like it's loading up. Uh, we're going to look at the merge documents.cpp. And we're going to run this just to start er, uh, as is, just to just show what it does and where it puts things. So we've got two example merge documents. They're just appending together. All right, that ran successfully, so we're good to go. So back to how we navigated here, we can now see that output file. Just put it next to the solution file. So we can scroll down, see our two one-page files now put together. Well, let's do something a little more complicated and actually change this. So we don't need that one anymore. Um, so now I'll show you where to navigate to here. So we'll go up a couple directories, back to APDFL, and then under Resources, Sample Inputs, this is where it's fetching files from currently. So for simplicity, we can grab our own files from elsewhere on our, our computer. I'm going to grab these three for this example, and then we'll go back to this sample inputs location and paste those in. All right. Now we can do PDF UA sample one, and this will append them in the order that you type them. Sample two. And now we'll build that and run that. Looks like it built successfully. We'll run that. It ran successfully, so we'll re-navigate to uh, that directory with the solution file. Sample source, content modification, merge documents, and here's our outputs. So now we've got those two documents merged together. All right, so we'll close that. Uh, just to confirm, I have a PDF UA checker. And it looks like it already opened to this location, so we'll open that. And that file is PDF UA compliant. All right, uh, but I want to give an example of what happens if you give it a non-PDF UA document, just for a cautionary tale. Um, if you build it with a non-PDFA document, it will not uh, be PDFUA compliant because this tool only preserves what you give it. It doesn't actually uh, make it PDFUA compliant. It just preserves it. So I'll run that example. Uh, we'll change this to output two. Build that. Looks good. And run that. 
ran successfully. So now we'll open that up. Yep, we got a different file at the top. And we'll show that that one was not PDF-UA compliant, even though one of the documents that was given was PDF-UA compliant. There's our two. And it has the same issues that that first PDF had for not being PDF-UA compliant. So it is only as good as the tools that, that you gave it. All right. Hope that was helpful, and if you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to reach out.